Hi, everybody. Welcome to Pace Studio on the Road. We're here at Arlen Studios in Austin, Texas right now with Austin, Texas band Greyhounds. Guys, it's great to see you again, man. Thanks for doing this. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you for having us. Yeah, here Heck we are yeah. in your backyard, man. This is one of the fun things about doing Pace Studio on the Road now that it no longer has a uh, permanent home in New York City. We just pop up wherever we're welcome, which happens to be the gorgeous Arlen Studios this week. And we're about to share a bunch of your music with the internet, man. There's f- uh, three tunes coming up from the most recent record, Primates, and we're going to hear a fan favorite as well. What's happening first today? Uh, this song's called Nobody's Judging. <laughs> here we go. One, two, three. Thank you, man. It sounds wonderful. Thanks for doing this. Um, we've been we've gotten to cross paths in my backyard last time at uh, Rockwood Music Hall for it was a while ago now, man, five years at least. That's right. And uh, so it's great to be with you guys here today. Um, let's talk a little bit about Primate. So I know that that was the first record to use an outside producer, which you chose very wisely in getting Steve Berlin on board. Um, can you talk a little bit about what it is like to work with that fella? Well, uh, actually, you know, he, he chose us. So, you know, but we, we feel honored and uh, lucky, you know, that we got to work with him. He really, I feel like he just brought out some different different things from us. And uh, it was everything that you would hope working with a producer would be. You know, it's like, he didn't tell you where to go, but he would open up a door and be like, you, can, you could go there and explore, you know? And uh, so, yeah, it was a lot of fun working with him. 
Yeah, good. Good, man. I've heard that almost exclusively. I was telling Andrew, I'm not sure who else was in the room, but Steve Berlin's name has been constantly coming up in conversation, whether it's on the internet with artists or just chatting in studios. He's been coming up out of seven times in the last month, probably. He's a topic of conversation I've heard exclusively that it's just wonderful dude to work with, that it's fun when it's supposed to be fun, the hangs are amazing, and then it's when the work is, is time to do that, then that's an amazing part of the equation as well. Yeah. yeah. Just make sure you got good snacks. <laughs> he likes good snacks. Yeah. Good cheeses. You got to bring that pate. Got to bring some pate. <laughs> then the magic happens. No, no. Yeah. Whatever, whatever mixes with the mezcal, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, watch out. Berlin's great, man. He's <laughs> such a good dude. Nice, man. Well, uh, thank you guys again for sharing the music today. We're about to hear three more. What's, what do you feel like doing second today? We're going to do another one from Primates called uh, Long Goodbye. Let's, uh, let's talk about Bud's recording services a little oh, bit. Wow. I, I just became aware that that existed the other day because uh, Kelsey from Sir Woman, I, we were looking around, she was here earlier today, and I was looking around for references of what she looked like live, and that was uh, the one that came up was Bud's. And if I'm reading this correctly, that's your spot. Is that true? Yeah, it's uh, me and uh, Anthony and uh, Sammy Patlove, and uh, it's just a studio that we built basically on the east side. And... Um, it's in an old motorcycle shop, which is pretty cool. 
And it's a small place. It's not like this joint. This place is like a labyrinth, you know, which is awesome. <laughs> I love this studio. It's the history's ridiculous here. But the uh yeah, so we're over there doing our thing and it's uh it's pretty cool, man. And we just did a tune with Kelsey with Sir Woman. Uh we did two songs and then um we're gonna work with her some more too. It's been really cool to get to know those guys and plus a lot of awesome music. We've worked with it's been really cool. The uh, the fact that nobody's touring is actually kind of cool because everybody's around, you know, so we get to work, but, um, but it's time to go back to touring. So, uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> did it, uh, did it, did the place start at, originally as a way to record Greyhound's music and then kind of expand into other artists or was it always the intention to be a, a full service studio where, uh, where yeah. artists can book time and, and well, use it as such? Yeah, it, it was at uh, Sammy. We would go work with Sammy at his house, and then um, he needed a space that wasn't in his house, and so the space came available, and um, we built it out. I mean, Farrell stapled, uh, what was that stuff that you did? Sound yeah, we made sound board. panels. Yeah. Like We put in <laughs> windows, there's sheetrock. I mean, it was a lot of work. I welded the, the desk that the board goes on i mean it was a real it took us a second to get it open but the idea was to have a place where people could come record here in town and it wasn't super expensive and it wasn't like you know and plus we wanted a place to work at and work with other artists too and we've done that and it's been really great man it's a it's real cool so y'all should come by we can hang out sometime you know if you're here holler at me yeah yeah, Dude, yeah. We, I mean, we're here. Uh, we're here until the 12th, and we've got yeah. exactly nothing to do on the 6th and the 7th. We're Perfect. free, man. We've got two days yeah. off, which you've never had on the road. And All so, right. yeah, we're going to go to Barton Springs and do some swimming, and we're going to visit you at your studio. Yeah, come on by, man. Come on by. That'd Done. be sick, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then, uh, but yeah, it's a great studio, and it's, um, it's, we record a lot of really great folks there, man. It's real, we're real blessed to have that place to get to create in. So, yeah. Cool. Cool, man. Well, uh, thank you again for coming and doing this. And there still are two more songs to be shared with our audience. What do you guys feel like doing third today? This one was a, a, uh, a crowd favorite choice. We took a poll online. Russell Lee handled it, and he told me they wanted to hear Amazing. Yep, so uh, we're going get, to get going on that one right here. It's called Amazing. <laughs> Yeah, bro. 
and talk to talk Tear it all down, spare me to clean up the mess, well, uh It's amazing, amazing, amazing Good Lord, amazing, amazing Well, amazing, amazing, amazing Well, what I, what I, what I, what I, what I, what I do for you, baby Amazing, amazing, amazing Well, it's amazing, amazing, amazing Yeah, amazing, baby Yeah, what a fool do for you I guess I'm gonna be that fool, baby A shoebox, a shoebox, yeah A shoebox, a shoebox, yeah A shoebox, a shoebox, yeah A shoebox, all right now I meant to say that we were going to wait for those cymbals to completely yeah. finish ringing out before we start clapping. That's it's, right. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of weird if I don't give that disclaimer, but now you know. No, no, it's, it's very respectful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We behave a little bit more like a Japanese or a Korean audience and just wait till it's done, done for real before we step on it with our clapping. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we um let's see. So where are you guys at right now? So primates primates has been out in the world for a little over a year, I guess. Yeah. Are yeah. you um are you guys actively in uh in buds and creating new stuff right now? Or are you itching to get primates out on the road and do that safely when you finally can? Or what what phase of music oh. are you in right now? Man, we're working on new stuff. Um we're always working on new stuff. We've got these tunes with Sir Woman that we're working on getting out. Um, Anthony and I went to Marfa. We rented a an old Adobe house and like for a week and just worked out tunes and got a bunch of tunes out of that and then we're mixing those and then he and I just went up to Dallas and the modern electric. Sound recorded. Yeah, sound recorded up there. Uh Bo Bo Bedford and uh Jason Burt. The Texas gentleman Bo yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Those guys. And and we were doing a couple of shows with Gary Clark Jr. at House of Blues. It's like a Monday, Tuesday. And like it's a 40, 45 minute set, you know, opening set. We're all amped up. And it was like, let's go to the studio. So we rented a studio to go to after these shows and so we did some songs with them and man, that stuff sounds killer too. It's so we have tunes coming out i mean we have a lot of songs that we still need to record and do and and uh we're really getting into like working with as many different people you know after working with berlin it really inspired us to kind of just you know let's try working with other folks you know and call out people who have been like hey i want to work with y'all you know and i think that that's become a lot more common just over the past year you know everybody's been just chilling and you know, they've had a lot of time to think about, oh, you know, it'd be cool. I mean, you know, I'm sitting here, we could send stuff to people or get together, you know, work on some, some new things, you know, collab new collaborative things. You know, it seems like uh, that, that spirit, it's just everybody's been in that mode, you know. Yeah, that's cool, man. I, I uh, we had a really, really excellent time with uh, with Kelsey this morning. So I'm looking forward to stay tuned for when those are out in the world and, yeah. um, and uh, in terms of tour stuff, you were telling me some things offline, which I now can't remember whether they're public information or not. Um, can you talk about as much uh, tour stuff as you're able to talk about? Um, well, we have we're we have local stuff coming up. I, the, the, yeah, the stuff I was telling you about, we'll see what happens with that. Okay. But uh, but definitely, um, yeah, there is there are plans to do some some playing outside of Austin well, I'm Texas. very glad that I asked it that way. Then. Yeah, so, yeah. Okay. Like, <laughs> nice, we do man. have gigs coming up here, but uh, we definitely are itching to get back out, you know, and um, 
and we have had a, we have opportunities that are coming up that we'll see you know how it works out hopefully it works out so cool but, man. Uh, well, but we will be out there yeah in the internet world we'll come to you this is if you want to look right into the internet soul look into that one right that there, one there yeah. right yeah perfect yeah <laughs> stare into the abyss of the that's right let us know yes. where you want to well see anthony us. if you want to stare into the abyss stare into this one oh, okay there oh, we go hello, sweet. Internet. well done we abyss nailed that staring one. <laughs> <laughs> nice man well dude this is it's always a pleasure to hang with you guys and to listen to your music and there's still one more to be shared what do you feel like doing last today this is a, a tune that we uh, <laughs> did with our friend Dante. we will uh stay here tonight from from it. man andrew anthony russell thank you guys for doing this um and travel safely we'll stay tuned for when uh tour plans are announced and uh thank you for sharing the music and we'll keep on crossing paths with you guys as frequently as is possible man thanks yeah. for doing this appreciate it brother uh, thank yeah thank y'all yeah. man thank you for thank you arlen thank y'all for turning in that's right <laughs>
Noah and Ashley. Noah and Ashley. Noah and Ashley on the white couch. Yeah. You can't see him. <laughs> In the house. All right. Thank you, guys, All man. Right. We'll see you next time. <laughs> we might be live right now, so don't say anything nuts. We might still actually be live. <laughs> I turn off all the microphones, so... Well, no, I'm still getting a signal. Oh, for...